What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> 12th, May, Thursday. What year? No. What year is it? With a brilliant disguise. Control. Like the perfect abduction toward the perfect crime. Along Came My Spider came out on April 6, 2001, and today marks the 20th anniversary. So, does it hold up 20 years later? So, this is another years later series. See, you stuff and like Arrowverse stuff. I haven't had a lot of time to do some years later, but any generally in March, I think. So, this is the first one in April. But yeah, this film stars like Morgan Freeman and another actress whose name I'm forgetting. But it's basically about a film about a detective who had a very huge loss during his time and now has to team up with another partner to see if he will lose his partner as well. And her name is Jesse of Flanagan. Morgan Morgan Freeman is Alex Cross. This movie is based off like books of series or something like that. I'm not gonna watch the other two, but I will watch this one because it kept my interest. And I remember watching this film when I was little. I think, I think. That's a big, I think, if, okay? Because the ending. I saw the ending when I was little, so I think I did. But I just don't remember much from it. 20 years later and years later on this movie. So, we got Morgan Freeman, a uh, Jesse. I almost called her, I heard like Jesse, but then I had to look up her name. It's Jesse with a Z, so Jesse. You have Mr. Sanji. And then I think that's it. The whole kidnapping stuff, looking for the daughter, the senator, that stuff's gonna be the whole Morgan Freeman and stuff all that stuff so one thing i want to say right off the bat this film kind of fits in today 21 and it hasn't it's aged definitely well like it's definitely if it's in 2021 right which means it's gonna be kind of all right but it's like if it's right it's a film that's kind of timeless even 20 years later and then the opening intro of the film i noticed a cg shot and for the early 2000s from what i've heard most cg in the early 2000s were not that great it looked bad this cg car falling off looked decent wasn't amazing you could tell it was cg but it didn't look awful you know it was decent i was like oh this is decent you know little like cg shot Maybe i'm just blind i don't know but either way it, it looked decent this is where morgan freeman loses his partner and it affects him for a while that he quits for like eight months just eight months right he's like a doctor slash detective because they keep calling him dr ross and i was a bit confused like wait isn't he like an agent slash detective slash doctor it's like and then we cut to like the present right out of school we meet our character megan whenever she gets captured her display of being a smart little kid was cool it was awesome you know she's not a, like a dumb kid right there's this teacher puts her to sleep there's another teacher on that campus then when he was like taking her out and he puts her body in this computer thing he goes out and then they rip his skin off i'm like oh wait a minute this is like prosthetic skin turns out it is he goes to this like boat at sea underwater he has megan there he's taking off his skin and we don't find out why i guess i'll start out with mr sanji and his art his character because it makes sense but also doesn't it's also weak senator, so he's kidnapped the senator's daughter for a reason and everyone stares oh this is for money he wants money morgan freeman's like nah he wants to be known as a legend be infamous for or the kidnapper of the senator's daughter like that he's messed up in the head which i do like and he catches megan getting out gets rid of the one guy that could save her right brings her back but then loses her out for the one time to kill dimitri the kid that megan was having fun with on the whole computer stuff and then why did he want to go kill dimitri is still unknown but within that time she either gets away or someone else took her like asks for like diamonds now and he has morgan freeman run on his adventure and i won't lie i was disappointed in this sort of sequence i thought okay this is gonna be a cool sequence it's gonna end well right nope was a bit disappointed you know, it felt like a waste of time. It was intriguing. I was like, oh, cool. he's running around the city of New York, I think. or uh, It looks like New York. It's probably not New York, even though I'm just assuming stuff right now. He got him running throughout. You got Jesse running with him. He's on like, the train thing. He gets a diamond. He gets away. And I thought, well, that was a waste of time. Trunk says this movie feels like a waste of time. It really does. I was sitting there, like, checking my phone and or interested at all. So maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm not into, like, crime thriller or isn't even a thriller. It's definitely crime stuff or, like, a crime film but or mystery. But he gets his diamonds, right? And he's like, oh, screw it. I'm gonna kill megan megan's gone right and he's you know what? i'm gonna go face to face with jesse and alex cross so he gets like to the apartment thing knocks out jesse he has a one-on-one -on -one. morgan freeman asks him what do you see in me because he's a doctor he like has something in psychology i think maybe why do you think the, you know i'm the way i am what's wrong with him? what's up in my head it eventually falls down to the fact that he had bad parents but he got rid of them already he finished them and he plans to do this because he's messed up that head due to his parents and wanna and i thought this conversation between mr sanji and morgan freeman was interesting it might be the best part though right in terms of the dialogue in terms of what, what they're talking about between nature versus nurture that's interesting but in the end he actually kills him 
before the movie ends and I thought wait a minute premature ending premature death and then when I checked the runtime there was still 20 minutes left of the film and I thought what's gonna happen and so while that was a good like kind of shock about finishing the movie what's gonna happen in the last 20 minutes while that was intriguing it was also premature especially what happens afterwards so that's like Mr. Sanji's little arc there he doesn't get interesting until the very end and they just decide to kill him off the whole conversation with the whole nature nurture stuff that was interesting but villain like he's just used as an asset and then moving on for like the last point you got Jesse and Morgan Freeman they're working on a case he has another partner but he's reluctant to work with this agent because he doesn't want to you know accidentally kill or be involved with his partner's a death right so throughout the film they're working together and the conversations that they have are good you know like losing someone how to deal with like stress and all this stuff it's all good stuff because there's a one point they even catch Mr. Sanji Jesse freaks out she just freezes for a sec she'll shook I was like stuff like that it's her first rodeo and it reminds me of like you know the old uh, retired veteran the new rookie kid I like that aspect both of them worked well together and so the even reason why Morgan Freeman even got out is Mr. Sanji called him and talked to him be like hey come out do your thing do your, your best at doing and solving this case so he gets out they talk to like the senators and being like okay this is why he's doing this a b c d f g all that stuff but aside from them talking with each other in a car in a little time that they do them going out finding evidence finding killed people finding evidence of Mr. Sanji getting close to Megan you know like there's not much there if I'm being completely honest it's just you know there's just two different types of people that are in the same field essentially it's like it's interesting but not intriguing enough for me and then I'll go back to Megan right she gets captured like multiple times each time she figures out a way to get out and she does in some way or form even if she gets caught kid isn't you know the damsel in distress she's actually smart finding using her environment around her to figure stuff out and then I guess I'll get to the ending of the movie playing them all along it was her all along <laughs> boyfriend i think the guy that we see here's an issue we see this detective or agent in the beginning he doesn't show up and he's the one that kidnapped megan once again from mr sanji ordered to kill her by jesse and it's like okay we don't see this character he's in here all right whatever but then to find out that jesse was the one that was like in on the plan, only on their side and all they wanted were a bunch of diamonds i think I feel about this like it's kind of dumb no i don't know how i feel about this because i remember thinking okay this is a the big twist right partner that he's been working with has been the one orchestrating everything has been the one that's been the big bad and i thought well that's cool Cool. the way they go around it is like we dated for a bunch of diamonds and then we're gonna get rid of megan for evidence for police to find for you know and blame on mr sanji i think that's what kind of ultimately made me feel how about this film because it's just all right i don't know i don't know how i feel about that but either way boyfriend or guy doesn't want to kill him she kills him instead and goes to the barn to go kill her and megan's like hey i'll let you in she's trying to get out thank you mrs jesse or something she figures out that she's sus you know she's on the dark side she gets out she like just shoots the barn like pop out and it's like god damn you crazy crazy lady you crazy as hell but they hold the girl tell her to be quiet confronts jesse and they seem to kill her because she sort of formed this some sort of connection with morgan freeman and in doing so morgan freeman is also somewhat he's not emotional he's kind of like god damn it i have to kill another partner i experienced this like months ago and i have to do this again and while that's interesting in the end he does have to kill That was a good scene as well like nothing's in, like innately bad about this film i just don't think i'm into it especially with that twist so he gets megan talks to megan said she will take her to her parents i mean you guys can kind of tell how i feel about this film i just it's all right it's okay like along like, there's some good stuff about it the whole talking like the dialogue's good but i think there are films in this genre that are way better than this film like seven and like I mean, i've only seen seven so i don't know but like there's other you know crime sort of drama slash thrillers that are way better than this this one's just all right so along came a spider 20 years later it's just alright, it's okay. So that's it for me. That's been the road so far, and thank you for watching.